Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2. So guys, it was confirmed. <laughs> I uh, definitely got trolled with this glass block here. This stupid bedrock glass block that I can't remove. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to get it in the random things mod. I got it in a reward bag. Placed it down because I wanted to see what it looked like. And you know, I just thought it was a glass block. You can just break it afterwards. No. <laughs> it is a bedrock glass block. And we're going to have to do some vanilla bedrock removing trickery here. We're going to do the dark oak trick, I think. We're in 1.7, so this still works. Pretty sure it'll work on this. If we get lucky here. I used to be really good at this. Oh, okay, so it goes down. That's right. Uh, we might need to go up one more block then. Like, I could almost always get the block I wanted to before. I think the trick is to go up one more block, and then the roots will get it, right? All right, you have to grow a tree first. This doesn't work anymore, though. <laughs> I think it was removed in uh, 1.8 or 1.9. There is another way of breaking bedrock using dragon eggs, though. Come on. <laughs> I feel bad. Like, it's a good thing bedrock isn't a person that doesn't have feelings, because... It would have low self-esteem, I think. Like, we can all agree, Bedrock is the ugliest block in the game. And it only had one job to do in life. Don't let players through, right? And and it doesn't even do that. <laughs> oh, we got it. Yes. All right. Problem solved. Uh, so, guys, I've been doing a few things uh, in our world here, too. Um, 10, 10, 10, eat some seeds. That's not super interesting, but I also is working on this area down here a little bit. So we got grass instead of the, the poopy brown cobblestone. I tried using certus quartz blocks for a roof, but I think I might just turn those into leaves. Because I think we're going to actually want to, to use these blocks, these certus quartz blocks later for ME stuff. Uh, but I think it's a little bit of an improvement. Still needs some work though. And I worked on that plastic mixer thing, too, that we were working on last time. Turns out there was quite a bit left to do to it uh, to get it fully functioning. I added in uh, three cracker things here, so it'll turn the diesel into kerosene, kerosene into gasoline. Aw, oh, man! <laughs> I just threw my pick off. <laughs> oh, darn it. I missed the W or the A key or something. I hit the Q key. I know you guys always tell me to change that. It's rarely, very rarely a problem. And I didn't have my magnet on. Man. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay, anyways. <laughs> and it goes into here. turns into LPG. turns into plastic. We got plastic barrel storage here. goes into these. They all have items in. We're making rose red dye now in our, our farm. And these are all set. So I think I did that right. I guess I gotta go make a new pick now. Oh, not apple juice. Binding, good. Nine modifiers. This into a cobalt pick. So, uh, we gotta get some modifiers on the new pick here. So the best way of doing that is to hover mode, vein miner. Okay, we're getting a lot of reinforced. Taste is good. All right. Okay, this thing is... I think it's maxed out now. We got one more reinforced on it, so that was a bit of a waste. Uh, that's 11 reinforced... Oh, no, that was uh, that was perfect 10 right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we want to put on that before I fully upgrade it? I don't think there is. We got, we got fortune. We have it totally unbreakable. Over a hundred mining speed. I don't think I've ever done that before. I don't know if that's going to do anything, actually, but we will find out. <laughs> oh my goodness. 141 mining speed. I think it only goes up to 28 normally, no? Does that mean we can, like, instant mine anything? <laughs> uh, what's what's something that's hard to break normally? Like, like endstone, you normally... Can't really mine that too quick, right? Can we instant mine this now? With this pick. Oh, I just threw my pick. <laughs> yeah, I think we can instant mine endstone. 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, you can't quite instant mine obsidian, but that is pretty, pretty fast too. Still no red dye in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that thing about to explode? Please don't explode. Oh, it's a. Oh no, stop. Okay, I was, I was afraid of that. What if we take out some of these? Oh, if we take out... Okay. If we keep it at 8, that's an equal equilibrium, right? Oh yeah, guys, by the way, if you look at the top left of the screen, we have passed the day 200 mark in our world here. Uh, which means we've been playing about 68 hours or so, so far. <laughs> and we still got so much left to do, it's insane. This pack is so, so long. It's very fun, though. I, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, so let's get to it here. I, I was trying to figure out what we should do today. Maybe we'll just start with this, the transistor. Or no, I was having trouble with the plastic, wasn't I? Wait a second. Oh, it's there now. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, because I put some more red dye in. That's why. Uh, some stuff happened off camera. <laughs> okay, so plastic, red alloy stuff. These two are different from each other. This is the one we're getting from the mob system. All right, so we just threw that stuff in the pressure chamber here, and now... I don't know if there's a good way of getting this stuff out, but I think we have to clear the filter every time we do a new item, right? There might be a trick to that, and then, like, reset it. So now that we have this item, we can add it to the filter. I don't know. <laughs> there's got to be a better way. Uh, we got the transistors though, let's hand this quest in. We're gonna need a lot of those down the line here, like these two transistor, or transistor and capacitor things use a ton of in this pack it seems. That actually takes the octactic capacitors, huh? Oh man. We got 25 of those right now. Yeah, let's add, let's make some more of these uh, speed upgrades with this little machine thing we set up. Good. And we'll add these onto these doors so that they're not so slow. And I think the faster they are, they let out less air pressure too every time you use this. So it's really good to upgrade them. Uh, let's do 16 upgrades. Try that out. Okay. Remove that. And shut these off. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it like instantly came out now. So much faster. Okay, now we have to add the three. Good. Alright, and that's one more quest done. Hand it in. Check out reward bags. So we got two greater bags here. Lily pad of fertility. Okay, that's really good actually. Those are kind of annoying to make. You can make them. So we should be able to just add this maybe and our crops will grow faster. Hopefully. Don't know if it works on the magical mm -hmm. crops. It's really hard to tell, too, isn't it? I think it does speed up tick rate, though. It's not a, a bone meal effect, right? I think it's one of the few things that does that. Okay, so the transistor and the capacitor, guys. Let's take a look at these, because I think they're going to be really important down the line here. We're going to need a lot of them for various things. Let's just see what we can make with them. A uh, couple mechanism machines. We need the, them both for printed circuit boards. And those are used for, I think, just about every single pneumatic craft thing. All the important things anyways. The real trouble one here though is the capacitor because it requires that octactic capacitor. Even though we set up a farm for that, it's, it's not gonna produce enough of them. So we're gonna have to make a bunch uh, just on our own. Uh, likewise, print circuit board, and it's also used to make these enriched alloys, which a lot of mechanism things require. <laughs> and they can be upgraded, which means you need even more of them, uh, and they can be upgraded several times. And then you need them for the chaos catalysts down the line here too. And you need these for a ton of things. So we're going to need a crazy amount of capacitors probably uh, in the future. Thankfully, not today, though. Not today. I just thought we'd take a look at that. 
Uh, we did this uh, previously, actually. We set up the UV light box, put in these un unprinted PCBs in, and then it uses air pressure to etch them slowly. Um, so let's hand that quest in, if we can. Oh, it wants us to make the bucket really... I thought we we escaped that. <laughs> thought there was a shortcut we took there. Didn't work, I guess. Yeah, two of everything, so let's throw that into, into our pressure system here. Two gunpowder, two spider eyes, two green plastic, two of that, and water bucket. So that'll make our etching acid. Hopefully. To get it out of there, we gotta clear our filter again. Good. And that's another thing done. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. We still got a lot left to do there. Oops. Wait a second. What's all this about? Unassembled PCB. Oh, we gotta get into the laser machines. Maybe. Uh, I'm confused. Maybe we have to do the etching acid thing once. I guess I'll I'll try that here. So to do it the etching acid way, like we skipped it and we used the UV box here instead. Uh, there is another way to get these ready. You have to take the empty PCB, put it in etching acid, and it'll slowly convert over time here. Yeah, it's at four percent already. Ooh, I know why I'm confused now. <laughs> There's actually several steps to this, isn't there? So you do this, the UV box, before the etching acid, or instead of using etching acid, you can use lasers. That's what it was. Okay. So we have to do the UV box thing. This is really slow, so we must need to upgrade this too. And hopefully, yeah, it goes much faster then. Okay, but it uses a ton more pressure, air pressure. Uh-huh. Well, we got one of... Oh, it's failed. No! <laughs> Why did that fail? I don't think I've ever failed one of these before. Oh man. Okay, you can get it back by smelting it, but then you gotta run it through the UV thing again. Why did it fail? Maybe because I took it out that at first there. So to automate the UV box, I guess what we have to do, we can't just like, we can't just put them in here because then they go into here and out right away. We got to tell it to only take out a full completed one. Uh, so let's grab a filter. I think I got a mommy. Yeah. Grab a filter. Did these fail again? Let's find out. Three unassembled. Oh, I think those are what we want. I think those are what we want. Maybe it's just a chance of it failing if you use the etching acid, because it's like the lower tier way of doing it. The, the, the lasers are probably a lot better and never fail, right? That's my guess of what happened there. <laughs> Alright, so to print them, you actually need the transistors and capacitors, and this is all good to go. Great. It's an epic bag. Oh, man. Oh, it's a wizard tower. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put that on, around our world here. Maybe when we go into the Aether again, we'll try it there. Um, okay, so what we want to do is get one of these finished. Okay, let's not extract for right now. Let's get one of these finished. And then we're going to tell this to... Extract with an item filter, right? Come on. Hurry up. And all done. Good. So we grab that. Switch this back to extract. Okay. Put in an item filter and only allow this type of item to go through. So now they should finish when we put them in here. Hopefully. One by one. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Good. Cool. So that seems to be all good there. We'll we'll throw these into the etching acid. Then we're going to use these first circuit boards to make the laser thing so we don't have to use this etching acid uh, anymore in the future here. Uh, what else should we do? Let's move on in our book while that happens. 
casings. So all the mechanism machines, I think, require these casings, plastic, steel, and machine frame. So these have to be made in the assembly table, and you have to, like, tear them up. Uh, this is, These are the tier three ones, I think. So maybe what we'll do... We have one assembly table. I think we should make more, though. I'm going to make... Oh, let's have nine of them in total, right? And then that way we don't have to worry about setting recipes and stuff. Having a problem with our mob system, by the way, <laughs> there's golden armor, there's bows and stuff going into it. I think those are coming from here, maybe. But I'm not sure, because that wasn't a problem before. Now I have to, like, void those items. Let's go ahead and make some gears here. Gold gears. Okay, electrotine. Diamond gears, rubies, and silver chests. So that'll make eight of those. Okay, good. So I think we will set those up around... This. That's really slow, actually. <laughs> we should maybe add more onto there. We'll set those up around here. And we should try to automate this stuff, too, if we can. Um, Let's see here. So each of these, like currently... We're trying to do everything in one one thing here, and there's just not enough space, so we need more of these. Yeah, so I think we will uh, dedicate one of these machine, or assembly tables, to each of the machine frames. There's four of them in total. Uh, so this one, the first tier, is Invar Glass Energetic Alloy Machine Chassis. So we'll put those in. Um, let's see, glass. Oh yeah, Invar, a lot of this stuff's in there already. Oh, energetic gears. <laughs> Forgot one thing. Okay, put those in. Set the recipe. And then hopefully we can automatically feed these four ingredients in so it'll keep making those. Uh, then this next one will be for the tier twos. Bronze, previous machine frames, ferrous, vibrance. Okay. Uh, ferrous gears, we got some of those. Oh yeah, if you don't... Okay, so if you don't put a chest next to it, it just shoots the item out like that. So we could pick them all up with a vacuum chest is one option, or we can keep a chest by each of these. I think we'll just use a vacuum chest, maybe. Okay, it looks like we actually got to fix this right away. It's a problem. Uh, all our diamond chests have filled up, so now we can't use our, our inventory panels thing here too well. So this is a little bit of a tricky thing. I think what we'll do is turn these diamond chests to in and out. And then on extract, we will change the color so they don't go into each other. Something like that. And then we're going to have to trash can some things. So if we... Let's try this with a, a chest first. Just in case everything goes into it. Uh, that will go to insert on blue. Alright. So everything's going in right now. We don't want that to happen. I'm going to put in an advanced filter here, so hopefully we can tell it exactly what we want to go in there, like bows. And then only those will go in. Nothing's going in right now. <laughs> okay, so match made meta value. Um, or dictionary. It's always confuses me. Fuzzy mode. That's the damage value of the weapon, right? Let's go for any damage. Nothing's happening. Is there any bows in here? There are bows in there. Oh, this is not on on blue. Okay, a bow went in. Yeah, so I think that's going to work. The bows are going in there. So I'm going to maybe put the trash can there. <laughs> a little scared to do this because we can lose all our stuff if I do this wrong. Um, and then any item we want to avoid, we can just put it into a filter here. All right, so bows would be a thing. All the leather stuff, probably. And chain armor. We don't want any of this stuff. Okay, so we got these all switched over to blue. A bunch of bows went into here. Uh, let's try add another thing to the filter now. So we'll add something else we want to avoid, like caps. And now caps are going in. Good. Yeah, I noticed, though, it's not putting the enchanted stuff in. So that's got to be something else here. That's meta, meta value, right? Ignore metadata. Let's get rid of some of these. I put the the chest back here, by the way. <laughs> uh, those are still not going in. Why? Uh, what's the other thing? Or dictionary? No. 
NBT. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, meta value is like the different colors of wool, for example. NBT is like extra data. So that'll do it. Yeah. Okay, good. I think we can put the trash can back. Uh-oh. <laughs> you know what this means. We're in MC edit right now, guys, which means our world has crashed and I can't get back into it. I thought I would show you an example of how you might fix a problem in your world because I know this happens to a lot of people where your world breaks and you can't get back into it and like if you don't know how to fix it that's it everything's gone uh, it's actually usually pretty easy to fix a problem though so I know that the crash happened while I was working on a cable for the trash can thing there which is a little hard to see in MC edit because I'm using an older version that doesn't have all the new blocks in where was that? What looks like the diamond chest to you guys? I would say it's these purple blocks over here, right? Which means the trash can. Really can't see it too well. <laughs> I think this is the trash can over here, this highlighted block. And I think this is the cable I placed that uh, caused the problem. So I'm just going to delete that block. Select it. Uh, delete blocks. Unse unselect it, control D to unselect, control S to save. All right, and hopefully our world is fixed now. Here we go. Uh, I think we're I think we're good. It hasn't crashed yet. Um It's a long load up time. That's normal. Totally normal. Nothing wrong with that. Taxes is here. Everything's good in life. Okay, lighting update problems. Oh, this cable looks a little messed up now, though. <laughs> so I was trying to set up a second one of these with more items in, and for some reason that caused a lot of trouble here. So let's hopefully... You know, I might just destroy this cable, just so there's definitely no problems, and then put everything back here. All right, well, let's get back to it here. So we set up the first one. Let's do the second one now. Uh, bronze, first machine frame, vibrant alloy, gears. Okay, put those in. Bronze, good. So we'll set that one to be made. Third one is the signalium one. Signalium gears, pulsating crystals. And what was the third thing there? Shiny ingot. Okay, put that in. Uh, man, my memory. <laughs> it's so bad. What was... Oh, pulsating crystals. <laughs> Like, what was the thing? I can't remember. And we need the, the machine frame here, too. Uh, the Enderium gear is Enderium gears and Lumium and something else. Oh, yeah, the zombie electrodes. We don't have those, so we're, we're not going to do that one. All right, let's get this. So I got a question. We're going to try something here. Um, okay, let's grab that. Put that in here so that finishes. Can we do two at once? It looks like maybe it's trying to do two at once. I don't know. It might uh, share the lasers then. I don't think they double up, right? It looks like this laser goes directly to there. Yeah, I would be surprised if they double up. I don't think they do. It just splits it. Anyways, so if we set up a chest, and let's say it's full of glass, can we tell that to go into here without it overflowing it because I think it's going to put all the glass in we don't want that to happen because then we'll run out of space for the other ingredients oh <laughs> insert okay it looks like it's going to overflow right yeah so it goes into the next stack here we don't want that to happen because it'll just fill up a glass or one of the ingredients so we're probably going to have to use a rationing pipe uh, if we want to automate this because that'll only allow one stack in at most. And we have some nodes. Yes. So probably run rationing pipes underneath these then. So then let's double check this. So this shouldn't go beyond a stack of glass. 58, 60. And stop. And stop. Okay, good. So that's how we can like keep too much stuff from going in there. Okay, so we got the vacuum chest here. That should be able to pick up anything that like pops out of these. It'll go right into there. Uh, did this finish? Must have just finished. Yeah. 
cool. So that'll be good. Uh, the other thing, though, let's look into our book again. Besides the machine frames, we also needed one more thing. Uh, I think it's under gamma. Yeah, the chipsets. So all these chipsets need to be made uh, for a lot of different things as well. Most of these are pretty simple. It's just like redstone, uh, iron. Yeah, it's like it's like redstone and one other ingredient for most of these. So let's grab some redstone. And we'll grab some iron. We could probably like double or triple, triple up on these ones without a problem. Because they all share redstone as a common ingredient. Diamond. Okay, so let's go down. We can... Let's see. So if we put redstone in here, tell that to make that. Uh, then we can put some some iron in too. I think if you do that, it'll finish all the redstone chipsets, and then it'll it'll move on to the iron. Oh, does it alternate? Yeah, it seems to alternate them actually, which is good for us. That makes it, makes this a lot simpler actually. So get a diamond one, then it switches over to iron. Does that switches over to the redstone, gold, emerald. Yeah, so this uh, that means we can just use uh, one assembly table to do all of these probably. Let's see, ender pearls are another one. And comparators make this flashy one. And I think that's all eight of them. One, two, three, four. Oh, plus one. <laughs> what was the extra one we did? Oh, the, the ender pearl one, I think. Yeah, there's no blue one here. Uh, this crystallized redstone, you need that to make the robots. I know. Uh, looks like it's used for the neutron collector. Oh, and it's part of the Chaos Catalyst, too. Some jetpack stuff. And that's it. Okay, so that takes redstone blocks. Let's grab some of those. And we'll try to finish up this quest, I guess. Let's put a few of them in. I'm guessing we are running out of power right now, too. Should maybe check that out. I oh, will do 32. Why not? Well, they take, they take 10 million power each. <laughs> that's why not. We'll just do a few of them. Let's check out our power uh, usage right now. It's probably pretty low now. Oh, oh, this thing's still loaded. Yeah. Okay, not a problem. Uh, okay, guys, so I just made some more of these lasers to try speed this thing up. We're pretty much maxed out uh, at the top layer here, so we got to get creative now. Is this too far away? Oh, yeah, this whole back row is not working. Ooh. Oh, but it would work for these for this middle one here, the middle row. Okay, I see. Uh huh. Can we uh, can we put them on the top here and have them go through each other? Let's try that out. Oh, can we rotate this? Can't rotate that. Hmm. Hmm. How can we place this? <laughs> if we if these can go through each other, we probably have to like destroy this row and like start from the max distance here. Okay, I want to try to place this facing down. It's very difficult to do. Oh, there we go. Okay, does that get power? It does get power, and it's shining through the other ones, so we can make these thicker, like several layers thick, too. Okay, well, maybe before I set up this uh, next layer here, I'm going to ask you guys a question, all you technical experts out there. <laughs> I'm assuming I don't want to keep this uh, cross pattern, right? Is it better to split these and make them like a, a linear thing instead? Does that help to reduce lag? I'm not sure. I'm assuming it does. But please tell me if you guys know. But don't just guess. Tell me if you actually know. <laughs> Uh, so you could do it like this, for example, and have these as lines, and then that way they don't have to like check everything, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, I think we're going to wrap up for today, guys. Let's just go ahead and hand in this last quest. I think this finished. Yeah, we got one of those. And we will call it a day here. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's all I needed. No, I never picked up this other stuff. Okay. They're all good now. Let's put these back. And let's see what we get here. This is probably going to be a pr pretty good reward bag because this is a tough quest. It is... Oh, it's just a good one? Really? Sponge. <laughs> we got a sponge. Yay. Um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching as always. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.